Hello. I'm Robert Hindelider. I was affected by sudden hearing loss on my right side Memorial Day of 2009. This is going to be a short video going over my experience and uh, we're going to be with Dr. Shannon Williams who was my audiologist when she gave me the BP100. As you can see it right here, there's the stud and anchor into it. We're actually going to go through the surgery. But right now we will get with Dr. Shannon and she's going to issue me the uh, BP100. Thank you. So we're going to go over your Baja today. Right. Um, everything in this kit belongs to you. So we just have a few things we have to go over before we actually put the Baja on. Um, right here is a Baja checker. If you remember when we demoed the Baja on you, it works the same way. Or if for some reason you don't think your Baja is working, then you can have like your wife or somebody check it out for you. Um, so what you're going to want to do is bring out your Baja when you're not wearing it and you're just going to snap it onto the coupling just kind of like what you do if when we did that headband. Right. Um, then you can just put it anywhere where there's bone. I prefer to put it on the effective ear and then plug up the ear as well as plug up this one for somebody who you're demoing it for. Okay. Okay. So you have that. These right here are your microphone covers as well as your battery door. So if you're looking at your Baja, it's this portion right here. You're just going to slide it down and then it pops off. Um, underneath you have a Gore-Tex lining that helps collect moisture and dust. So what Cochlear recommends is that every six months you replace this. Oh, six months? Every okay. six months. Now, some people are not outside all the time like some others are. What I tend to tell people is, one, I don't know what the replacement cost is on these, so I can't help you there. But if you, for some reason, feel like there's a low amount of volume here, then take this off and put this back on. If you hear better with this off than with it on, then you know this is dirty and you need to replace it. Okay, excellent. Okay? So, otherwise you can do the every six months. Um, Cochlear has given you enough to last you for your two-year warranty that you have on um, the hearing aid and everything. Okay, this right here is your carrying case, so when you're not wearing it, you can just put it in here. Um, that way you're not putting it in a Kleenex or anything like that and throwing it away in the trash can. It happens. Okay, um, up under here, you have a couple of things. You have um, your instructional booklet regarding the battery hatch. And the only reason they're doing that is they made improvements with this um, prior to being it when it was first released, you know, a year and a half ago or whatever. Um, so that's the only reason why they're giving you new instructions on how to do the battery hatch. This right here is your user manual. It comes in four different okay. languages, so all you have to really worry about is English, unless you know how to speak Portuguese or anything <laughs> like that. We'll go over everything that's right. in that manual. It's just a backup. Okay. Okay. This right here is your warranty information. Now, you have a two-year warranty on the abutment from the date of surgery, okay, so... Are you talking about this here? That right there, okay. okay, so whatever day your surgery was, you have two years from that date of surgery. Your cochlear or your Baja is a two-year warranty as well from the date of service, okay, or date of dispense, so today. From two years from today, we'll fill all that out, okay? And I'll get you registered so you don't have to worry about any of that being taken care of. I'll just get onto Cochlear's website and I'll register you. So therefore, if anything happens to it, we're covered under warranty. You also have a one-time lost and damage. So if they lose it, if you lose it, then we can get it replaced. Right now, Cochlear is not charging a deductible, but that's not to say they'll jump on the bandwagon like every other hearing aid company and charge you a deductible. So right now, right. we're covered. Um, if it's out of warranty, then there's a repair charge of $495. Um, are you Medicare? Yes. Okay. Right now, Medicare pays for repairs as well. So if it is goes out of warranty, then all we have to do is file a claim with Medicare and we'll get all that going. So okay, okay. So as of now, they may change all that. Yeah, if that changes, let us know. <laughs> right. <laughs> so okay. 
In this box, you have a couple of other accessories. Um, this right here is just showing you how to use this. Okay. okay. Um, then in here, you have a couple of things as well. You have a Baja abutment cover. So it's the part that it snaps onto your screw when you're not wearing this. Right. Okay. Some people use it. Some people don't. It's totally up to you. Okay. Um, this right here is a safety line. Um, it just clips to your shirt or, you know, like women tend to clip it underneath their shirt. And then it feeds right here are two uh -huh. holes. It feeds through that and then it just loops through itself. So there, therefore it snaps. If this falls off, then it's dangling from right. here. This is sits very tight on the head, so it very it takes a very good blow to the head before it will just pop off. And then this is a battery removal tool because the way that the battery goes in, which you use a size 13 battery, okay, and I've already put a battery in just so I can show you this, but um, you use a size 13 battery, but the way that it goes in, it goes in at a sideways, and if you don't have fingernails, you can't really grab a hold of it. So the tool allows you to grab yeah. it. And you can use the tool as well to put it in and then just slide it off to take it off. Okay? Any questions about any of this? No, you didn't. It real, that's real good. Okay, good. Okay, now let's talk about the Baja for just a minute as this thing whistles at us. Okay, now about your Baja. There's a couple of things that you need to realize. There's three different buttons on here, okay? You have volume up, volume down, and then the center button will turn the program processor on or change the programs, okay? Okay. Now, we're wearing this on our right, head, right hand side. So, when this is sitting on my head, the button closest to the nose, so this way, will turn the hearing aid up. The back will turn it down, okay? And the best way that I remember that is I want to be nosy, so I turn it up. If I don't want to be nosy, I turn it that's down. That's good for a woman. Okay, so that's the easiest way. Then the center button, if you hold it down, will turn it on or turn it off. And then if you do short pushes, we'll change the programs. Okay. Okay? So um, I'm just going to show you. I already have this program for you for right now. Um, we will make an adjustments if we need to. Um, if I hold it down, you're going to see an amber color light come on to indicate that it's on. So if we turn it on over here, if I hold it down, we're going to get an amber color light that flashes to let you know that it's on and it's programmed for the right side. Okay? If I hold it down, then you get a blue light and the amber color light letting you know that you're shutting it off. Okay. Okay? When you do the short pushes, you're going to hear the number of beats to indicate what program you're on. Okay. So um, it starts on program one automatically. So when you push it, you're going to hear two beeps, program two, three beeps, program three, and then it will cycle back to program one. Okay. Okay? Yes. Any questions about that? No. Okay. Now, while I get your information in the computer, I want you to practice putting this on, okay? Okay. So the easiest way to do this is if this is your head, I don't want you to apply direct pressure. What you need to do is kind of line it up and then rock it on and give it some force. Same thing when you take it off. Don't directly pull, kind of rock it off, okay? It's a lot more forceful than you think it is, okay? Okay, I'm going to install it. There's my button right there. I can. There it is. Here I installed it. Okay, now try taking it off. I just flip Good. it off sideways. Correct. Now, when you put it on, you can either turn the processor on first, or you can put it on and then turn on the processor. And the reason being is, what are you looking for? The room battery remover? Yeah, the battery remover too. Um, the only reason for that is um, because when you do put it on, if it's on while you're trying to put it on, you're going to get whistling. But that's normal, and it'll go away as soon as you take your head, your um, hand away. Okay, I took that out. Now, when I put it back in, it's on the automatically come on. Correct. That's on. Now then, as it gets close to my the button, it starts squealing. 